It's Peter Joy then in uh, his beautiful Lotus Elite on those iconic uh, yellow Lotus wobbly web wheels, the magnesium wheels. Peter Joy in 33 Joy goes away. He's second in class, he's won his class here over the last couple of years, but of course he's facing Justin Mears right behind with the mighty Cooper Monaco. And you're looking at a 1216cc Coventry Climax FWE engine Lotus Elite, which is essentially a modified road car and then a pure race car that is uh, following up. So Peter Joy, um, who has, say, won the class two years running, really get going and find some time. He's had a great time in his first run, 44 76. He's only three tenths of a second behind, and he's cutting things very, very fine in the upper part uh, of the course. Peter Joy, 2.5 seconds over the first 64 feet, and uh, through the finish, and a 44 57. Well, he's found some time, but it's not quite enough because 44 46, the, uh, the Cooper uh, from this morning is good enough to win this class. No one else is going to get there, I'm sure. And uh, oh, a bit wide through the, uh, um, through the little chicane there for Justin Mears with the Cooper. He's on a 44.59 despite that. He was slower than before, 200 slower than Peter Joy. But of course, his morning time of 44. 46. He's going to seize the class by th just under three tenths of a second. Here's Ernie Nagamatsu from the States on our screens in car 150, 156, the Porsche Speedster. Long history in Sports Car Club of America uh, racing. The uh, Kilpatrick Porsche. And uh, up he goes. The, uh, he goes straight on, but. Um, James Thacker, boldly out of the blocks. He's giving it some uh, welly, isn't he? Two point eight seven seconds over the first 64 feet. On the line now, it's a bit of Barkley in the hands of Mike Walker. Who Made his name racing Formula 3 cars and then mighty Formula 5000s, five litre stock box sluggers uh, on the circuits. But uh, James Thacker towards the top. James fourth in class on a 46.78 this morning. 46.36 now. That moves him up, but not enough to catch Peter Russell with the Cooper Bristol. There is uh, the Long Goddard Watts owned Barclay. The motorcycle engine, but with the Formula 5000 driver of your Mike Walker from Worcester. The, the timber business over there. A diminutive little Barclay. Lead them in four and three wheel versions with Ganzani, Royal Enfield, and, and other engines. Mark Shears and the famous Morgan dating back to 1952. Wears its age well, doesn't it? Um, the car that's been rallied. Did the RAC Rally of Great Britain with Peter Bolton in it, and uh, also extensively used in uh, in racing. So 158 is Mark Shears. The um, RAC Rally in 52 with um, uh, Peter Bolton driving it, who uh, competed at Le Mans several times. For AC among others. 48.85 for Mark Shears. That is good enough for sixth place at the moment in the class. He was sixth already. Now we've got uh, the streamlined body of Lotus 6, number 163, and this is Jock Taylor, retired industrial engineer car with a 1366cc uh, engine. Good for 120 miles an hour with the all-enveloping body. Which I have to say is rather pretty. And uh, Jack Taylor did 54.34 this morning. 
certainly improve upon that. He's not far from the finish now. Looks like he will. 53.97. 53.97. He'll be pleased with that. Jack Taylor doesn't move up at all. There's Florian Seidel in the uh, normal spec Lotus 6 is ahead of him still. Here's Stuart Penfound in 164. I wrote a book about these uh, um, monkey stable Leicester MGs. Guys that ran in the uh, nine hours at uh, Goodwood in period. Three nine hour races. Under 52, 53 and 55. Had a lace stall uh, alloy cylinder head race cam. And the engine taken out from 12.50 to 13.66 cc. So uh, uh, Stuart Penn found in the Leicester MG. Very, very pretty car. And he clocks a 57.07. 57.07 for uh, Penn found. And uh, that is an improvement. There's the Maserati-esque. Uh, car, another of the uh, MG specials, it's 165, this is the Darg MG, developed by Tom Darg, another car that ran in the uh, Goodwood 9 hours, 1467cc, it's a bit more uh, power this time, there's the 2 litre of Bristol power, straight 6 power Cooper of Peter Russell. Five clocks are 5462. 5462 for Chris Pamplin. Just tucked behind Jack Taylor. Peter Russell in this Cooper Bristol, owned by Peter Mann. Oh, the race is very extensive. The race that uh, badly smashed at Monaco uh, last year. Big accident that John Muir had put back together by Peter Russell for its owner. The Hawker Restorations. But a 49. Uh, point three three forty nine three three for David Brazil. Oh, he's a one hundredth of a second shy of Chris Ball in it's the uh, in the other Jaguar. His guy broad in the lovely Le Mans replica Fraser Nash called a replica because in nineteen forty nine Fraser Nash came third at Le Mans, driven by Culp and the owner, and um, after that, although. Nashes with the same bodywork were described as the more replicas. 50.52 then for uh, 181. Here's David Cottingham in the Ferrari that won its class in the 1957 Le Mans race. So we're celebrating uh, 57 to 17 is 17. Whoosh, whoosh, I can't work it out. 60 years or so. That's 60 years, yeah. It is. 17. Meanwhile, another Bristol powered car, Kevin Kiblarkin's AC Ace. We keep mentioning, of course, that uh, Carol Shelby saw these Bristol powered cars and thought, hey, let's put a big V8 in that and uh, it'll create something special. And it did, and that became the Cobra. Yeah, this car had a class record at, uh, at Chateau.